Great thing about Chicago is there's a million different types of housing. I've lived in all sorts of places. I've lived in apartments, I've lived in small brick homes that were built in the 1800s, and now this incredible converted church. This structure has been around for almost 100 years. It was built as a church in 1920, and it remained as a church until about 2004. For a while, it was used as a recording studio. In 2009, it was sold and went through the first conversion to be a home. It took almost 10 years total and three owners to convert it. When I moved into it, the person had rehabbed it but not finished it. So they had taken it maybe 80% of the way, and I'm the first person to actually reside in the home. When you first walk into the house, you walk up the stairs and you come up to the living room and the wow factor just instantly greets you with the high ceiling. Where the living room sits, all this used to be pews lined up all the way to the altar of the church. Where I make my tea in the morning, people were married, people had baptisms. It really is amazing to me. Logan Square is an incredibly artistic neighborhood. We have a lot of music and some of the best architecture in Chicago. This home, you can tell, is incredibly solid, but the most important and impressive thing is the sound. I play the harmonica, I play guitar, I sing, and the natural reverb in this home, and in most churches, is second to none. I moved in with no furniture, so that <laughs> left me with a completely clean slate. And I was lucky, I, I hired the best designer on the planet. A lot of churches are just really large and you know they'll be subdivided sometimes into condos, but to have the chance to work on something of this type that is sized appropriately for a single family residence was pretty cool. One of my favorite things in the design process is getting started with layouts and kind of thinking through the functional aspects of, of how a client's gonna use a space and what we need to put into the space so that it, it lives the way that, the best way that it can for them. And so that to me is a really fun back and forth with the client that I enjoy. He truly got to know me. We spent a lot of time together. He wanted to get to know my personality, listen to my music, see how I live my life. It's very clear that music's a huge part of his life, and so to me, the kind of space that, that he should have, in my vision, was something that's kind of urban and contemporary, but that just has a little bit of an edge. Achieving that required putting some thought into the materials we were going to use and kind of highlighting the inherent architectural features in the house, the brick uh, walls and the exposed timber and the metal railings, I think were big things that were there already. But you're never really sure until you can really visualize it in images. And so we used um, House to create an idea book that put together a lot of the images that we wanted to share with Tim and that Tim had found. And we're really able to talk through what are the aspects of the image that you like. Is it the color palette or is it the style of the furniture? That kind of reconciliation back and forth allows you to know that you're on the right track when you start going to really put the design together. The master bedroom is incredible. The exposed beams that you see were the only thing that held the church roof up. My favorite space is the lounge area with the chairs. I think that they're incredible. I'm not sure that I would have gone into a furniture store and picked those chairs. He had to kind of get his head around the fact that, okay, I could be someone that has bright orange chairs. I was not an orange chair guy. I was not a green chair guy. I was not a rug guy. I was not a lamp guy. I was not a, uh, a nice modern couch guy. Uh, I was a bar stool, you know, beer drinking kind of guy. And that shows you the power of a good designer to be able to kind of take you out of your element, show you something that's perfect for you that you didn't really think it was perfect for you. And then when it's in, you just say, that it was almost like it was here my entire life. With the space this large, rugs kind of help define certain areas and allow a large space to still feel like it has different kind of moments or, or areas within the larger space. One of the first things that was really important to him was his fish tank and he had found one on house that he really liked and it's one of the things that Tim is super passionate about and I think it deserved a prominent place within the design. I wanted it to be the kind of place where you can kick your feet up, you can touch stuff, you don't have to worry about ruining things or getting your fingerprints on stuff. 
Tim likes to to use his home for live music. And so we had to really put a lot of thought into the different spaces in the home and, and how we can lay this out so that he can very naturally kind of layer in his music and his live performances. I've played all my instruments in every part of the house. I think the sweet spot of the house is in the living room because of the ceiling and the way that this is where, as a church, people were singing. The cultural coming together is one of my favorite parts of the house. It's an incredibly social place. Unbelievable that this is being used now as a house. Some people thought it was a hotel. Some people thought it was, uh, who knows, a nightclub, all sorts of different things. People have walked in and just walked right up to the living room right here, thinking this is like a hotel lobby or something. And so it's been, it's been a great experience for me because it really is one of the most social homes in the area. It's so exciting to see a space that Tim loves. We really gave him kind of an environment that he can, you know, enjoy his music to the fullest extent in, and his friends can and family can come and, and do the same thing. So to me, that's the most rewarding thing you can get as a designer, that your clients are in love with the home that you've created for them. To wake up here is incredible. It is the most quiet, relaxing, peaceful place. I wake up and I look down upon this living room and I honestly just think how lucky I am. Feeling like you're doing the right thing and you're in the right place that you're supposed to be is an incredible feeling.